Good morning, modern steaders. It rained pretty good out last night, guys. Luckily, it's while we were sleeping last night, and it's not gonna mess us up for building the firewood shed today. Come on, piggies. You didn't eat all your apples last night. You want some apples and grain? Sounds like the boys must have ate all their hay last night and they want to get out. You used to be the quiet goats. What happened? You ate all your hay? Huh? Did you eat all your hay last night, Zeke? Oh, you just want to get out and run around, huh? You don't want to be in here no more? Come on in, Caleb. I think it's funny, Zeke and Caleb don't use the goat bunk beds, they sleep right on the ground. Where the other goats are spoiled and all they want to do is sleep on the bunk beds. I'm not sure if you follow us on Instagram or not, but we've been posting quite a bit over there. So I'm going to have a link in the description down below to our Instagram account. Thank you, Willa. I know, you're ready to get out of the milk. You ready to go see your babies and eat some apples? Come on. Then one of the first things Willow does is she goes out and she searches for an apple. She's looking for one. I think all the other goats ate them on her. Yeah, let me get you an apple, Willow. <coughs> Willow. She says thank you. <laughs> Ah, it looks like one of the predators were back trying to get in. The game camera should be coming in the mail today, so we'll have to set that up later on. <laughs> Morning, Moose. I ordered one that can do video, now I just need to figure out where to set it up. I think I'll set it up over by the olive egg layers and black copper marons. You're waiting. Come on. We bought a post and beam firewood shed kit from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below to that with a 10% off promo code. Well, we've got all of our parts and pieces here, they're all labeled. I'm hoping to get all the posts and beams up today and get the frame built. A lot of our tools are still down here in the barn. Let's see what we can find to bring up. I need our tape measure, hammer, square. I'm trying to think, we'll probably should bring up some clamps. Oh, I should bring up the skill saw just in case we need that. If you guys are new to the channel, we've been building a post and beam barn and workshop. But while the weather's still nice, we need to build our woodshed. It's gonna be getting winter time here soon, so we're gonna stop on the barn build for now. And we'll work on the woodshed. This is all dried in, and it'll make some good winter projects. I'm glad we had it covered. Yeah. Glad we covered it the other night. Is it raining? No, it's dripping off the trees. All right, so the first pieces we're gonna be looking for are these ones. Right there. And right there. And right here. These are the back ones. Oh. 
Yeah, it'll be the same thing, just longer. Alright, so we need... They're nice and heavy and wet. Alright, we have a... There we go. This one's gonna have a half lap joint in it I believe yep so that's gonna go out like so that's gonna go here bada boom bada bing right here 79 Yes and no. That's not the one we want. Here's a 404.79 WP. That's the one we want. Looks like a shed already. Let's grab some screws. Now you can get the firewood sheds with wood floors, but I wanted to do a dirt floor in ours. This one secured. Boom. That ain't going nowhere. I want to hold the tape measure down here. I just want to make sure we are 12 feet. Hold it on the outside edge. All right, perfect. Set this right flush. This post was leaning a bit, that back six by six tilts. So we're gonna have to put a shim under the corner and I'll have you hold it. And then we'll get it nice and level and then we'll secure it. So if you just wanna hold that there for a minute. Check for a level, plumb I should say. Perfect. All right, we need one more piece that's 63 inches long. 63 right here. So 
And now we gotta set the wall. All right, so I need to mark 92. Two and ninety six. If you could train him to pick up your apples, well, he, he could. Them up. He Why could. Don't he, stick them in the bucket? he could stay outside all day long and stay busy. And we would get stuff done. Now he's chewing up your little roots for you. Alright, so this will be our top post in the back. There we go. Right, if we didn't have the pigs eat the apples, it would not be fun. Now we gotta look for the 9600 BE. We need two half lap joints going the opposite direction of each other. 1440, 96 right here. All right, this is the one we want. There we go. Boom, I like it. All right, let's make sure everything is nice and flush. It still is, I like it. All right, first mistake, no big deal. Glad I screwed him in. I gotta take those screws out, spin it, and I need this half lap going this way. That makes more sense. One reason why I like using screws over nails, so you can easily undo stuff and fix it. takes just a few minutes. There we go. All right, I'll spin it this way. Just like that. There we go. I like it.
waiting for the rain to come. Doesn't feel too promising. Yes. Now we need to get two of these posts, one for there and one for there. They go on the outside of it? They go in the middle. I'm gonna put a post right here. Boom, boom. You need to mark layout for each center post. So it's 12 feet. So if we go 72, so if we go 70 and 74. All right, we got 48. We're gonna mark 92 inches. And 96 inches. All right, we need one post that is 79 inches long. Is that this one? I believe it is, yep. It's our corner bracing. Yeah, that's 79. And the RS is rough strapping. All right, so I want to get our temporary bracing going 
here and here first. You want to hold your end up so it's hitting the top. I'm going to come forward. Okay. And then just keep your end up all the way up. Yep. Okay, yep. So if you see this post and that back wall is kind of tilted like this, like especially this post, if you look, it's like this. That center post yeah. is straight up yeah, and yeah, down. Yeah, this yeah. one's this way. Yeah. So when I say rack, we got to take the whole building and rack it straight. And then we'll, the temporary bracing will hold it that way. And then once we have the siding and the roof on, we can take the temporary bracing off and it's not going to move. Okay. So do you want to screw, I got the screw out of my back pocket, screw that down there. All right, so let me check for plumb, get it plumbed up. Okay, go for it. All right, so we'll start the bottom first. Yep. All right, let's see what we gotta do to plumb this one up now. Perfect. We can come out on about a half inch. Can you come up, is it good still? How about now? I mean, the bubble's still in, so it's over to the pilot. Why don't you come over here with the drill gun? And go up there and screw. Let's see. Oh, we're perfect right there. Sweet. And then. Alright, now we can get this 2x4 out. That was just to help rack the whole wall and hold it while we got the strap it in place. Alright, let's see how we are this way. So the top, I need to push the top that way. Oh, that's easy enough to do. I like it. So let me get one started for you. do this too. Alright, let go. And that should give me enough room to push it and then for you to screw it. Right there, go for it. So if you want, put some screws right there. I wonder if this one's good already or if we gotta mess with it. Oh, that one's good. Ha <laughs> ha. It's perfect. Where it should be. It should be that way, but you never know. Perfect. Alright, so we can screw that bracing in. Check this side now. You got enough on your end yet. Okay. Yeah, you want to put some. We shouldn't need the shims anymore, but look at that, a whole bucket full and there's still apples everywhere. And then once the rain comes, there'll be a lot more. You still got apples left over from yesterday. Look at them all. 
You all appled out or what? Have some green apples. Kiddo's ready for some more hay. Spread it out. No more, you ate it all. You got it all there, Blossom. Is this off? Yes. chickens in there. Oh. Come on, go. You go. Come on. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. They started picking back up again then. No, we haven't got sixteen in a while. Yeah, 14's been on the high side. I'm not sure about y'all, but I'm happy to see that the firewood shed is going up before winter sets in. It's going to be so nice to have a nice structure to put our firewood under this year. Oh, we've never had that before. We've always just had little pods that get covered in snow and ice and usually in a puddle or two. But So it's going to be nice to have it finally under cover. Under coverage. Yeah, under coverage. Under cover. <laughs> I found a quote that I really want to share with you guys tonight. The only thing that stands between you and your dreams is the will to try and believe that it is actually possible. I think that's the big thing, is believing that we can actually do it. Once we finally get fed up with building somebody else's dream for them, and we believe in ourselves, or you guys stop believing in yourselves, you can get there. <sighs> Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. We really appreciate you, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.